Okay, hello guys. So, ang ating next video is about terms of transactions. Kasi, yung iba daw, nahihirapan pang maintindihan yung terms of transactions. So, gaano ba ka-importante yung terms of transactions? So, importante ito, kasi kung hindi mo ito naunawaan kung ano ang terms ng transactions, then, mahirapan kang gumawa ng journal entries. So, merchandise may be purchased and sold either on credit terms or for cash on delivery. Diba, pag tayo bumibili, either cash or utang. Or kung tayo nagbebenta, uh, binibenta natin sila na utang or cash. So, kapag cash, wala masyadong hassle. O, diba? Pero, when goods are sold on account, or, yun nga, on credit, a period of time called the credit period is allowed for payment. So, the length of the credit period varies across industries and may even vary within an entity depending on the product. So, pag patanungin nyo ko, uh, ano ba yung uh, normal na credit period? Uh, depende siya sa company, depende sa uh, business establishment na nagbebenta or bumibili kung ano ang kanilang uh, credit period. So, when goods are sold on credit, both parties, yung buyer and seller, should have an understanding as to the amount and time of payment. So, these terms are usually printed on the sales invoice and constitute part of the sales agreement. So, example tayo, kasi pag nakakakita kayo ng transactions, di ba? Minsan napapansin nyo merong terms. So, yung iba hindi nila pinapansin, pero kaya nagmamali ng entry. Pero, pag titingnan ninyo, ah, madali lang naman siyang intindihin. So, for example, we have here, on June 2, a CG boutique owned by Christina Galiga purchased merchandise from RR Trading, 30,000 pesos. The terms of the transaction, 15, 2 over 10, and over 30. So, himay-himayin natin yung terms. Ano ba yung 15 yung naka-red? So, that is the trade discount. Okay, that is the trade discount. Sabi nga natin, yung trade discount ay hindi natin isinasala sa pag-record. Meaning, pag gumawa tayo ng journal entry, hindi siya isinasama. So, ang amount na sinusulat natin sa ating journal entry is net of the trade discount. So, yung naka-green, which is 2, ano naman yan? Ang tawag natin dyan ay cash discount. So, para saan yung cash discount? Ito usually yung discount na binibigay para magbayad ng mas maaga. Kasi, you can only avail of the 2% discount if ano daw, kasi 2 over 10 siya. If you pay within the discount period, which, which is 10 days. Meaning, kapag nagbayad ka beyond the discount period, wala na yung 2%. Forfeited na siya. Tapos, nakalagay dyan, N over 30. So, what is that N over 30? Ang ibig sabihin nito, the credit period is 30 days. So, dapat bayaran mo within 30 days. So, kung tatanungin nyo, ano yung terms of the transaction? So, we have a trade discount of 15%. If we pay within 10 days, there is a cash discount of 2%. But, we have to settle the account within the credit period of 30 days. So, try natin itong ating example. Paano ang kanyang journal entry? On June 2, so, meron tayong uh, trade discount na 15%, debit tayo ng purchases, 25,500, credit accounts payable, 25,500. So, bakit ba siya naging 25,500? Kasi nga, meron tayong trade discount na 15%. Tingnan nyo yung nasa left side, dalawang ways kasi yan kung paano yung makuha yung 25,500. The list price is yung 30,000 less the trade discount of 15%. So, 15% times 30,000 is 4,500. So, ang net nun, ang tawag natin ay invoice price. Yan yung nakalagay sa resibo, yung 25,500. Yan yung ating ire-record na purchases at accounts payable. So, may isang way kung paano siya makompute. From list price na 30,000, multiply nyo lang ng 0.85 you will get also an invoice price of 25,500. Saan galing yung 0.85? Kasi nga, di ba, ang ating trade discount ay 15%. So, 100% plus 
minus 15%, meaning our invoice price is only 85%. Now, what if pagdating ng June 10, we paid the account in full? Now, what will happen if we paid the account in full? Ano ang ating entry? Debit tayo accounts payable 25,500, credit cash 24,990, credit purchase discount 510. Bakit ganun? I-check muna natin. Uh, nakabayad ba tayo within the discount period? Our discount period is 10 days. So, June 10 tayo nagbayad, minus June 2, 8 days shown. So, we pay within the discount period of 10 days. Kaya, meron tayong 2% discount. The next question is, saan nakabase si cash discount na 2%? Sa um, list price ba? Or doon sa invoice price? Nakabase si cash discount sa invoice price. Yun yung ating accounts payable. So, tingnan nyo sa baba, nandyan yung ating uh, entry nung tayo nag-purchase. May credit time accounts payable. Yun din yung ating e di debit kasi nagbayad na tayo so yun ang basis ng ating cash discount so that is 510 so 2% times 25,500 so our, our cash payment is 24,990 so what if the account was paid beyond the discount period kunwari nagbayad tayo June 15 na so Beyond the discount period ba yun? I-check natin. June 15 minus June 2 is 13 days. So, beyond the discount period of 10 days. So, wala na tayong ma-avail na 2% discount. So, ang ating entry will be debit accounts payable 25,500, credit cash 25,500. I hope na unawaan guys ha kung paano uh, yung uh, terms of transaction. Kasi kung hindi nyo naintindihan yung terms of transaction, o mas mahirap na maintindihan or magawa yung journal entries. Okay, till next video tayo. Again, kung may tanong, comment lang or pwedeng sa group chat natin or PM lang sa akin. Thank you and hopefully nakatulong ito sa inyo.